Happy Monday, everybody. Hi, Banner. All right, good. It's a great day to be a Bobcat again, isn't it? It is, definitely. All right, Mrs. Haley, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. And would you like to share with this, with uh, the Banner Nation what your one word is? My one word this year is guide. 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 Can mm -hmm. you elaborate on what, what does it mean sure, to guide? Sure. Well, right now at my house, I have two high schoolers and one that's getting ready to go to college next year. So we are in the process of trying to figure out what we're going to do next year. Mm -hmm. And so I'm turning into more of a guide than anything else. So you like a guide hat on right now. I, I could. Yeah. I could. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, good luck with that. I know that, that's a that's a big it step is. to take. It is. To, to take, if I can say that word right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got birthdays coming up uh, this week, and um, we're going to list our birthdays. We're going to go back and forth a little bit. So here are our birthdays for this week. Uh, Kalea Taylor in 5R. Molly Smith in 5A. Brendan Weber in 2B. Samutha Sarum in 2B as well. And some of our staff have birthdays this week too. Mrs. Mason has a birthday on the 28th. Mrs. Gallette on the 28th. And Mrs. Young, she is a leap year baby on the 29th. Wow, you know what, uh, Mrs. Young and actually Samutha both have birthdays on leap day, which is the 29th. And your teachers can talk to you a little, little bit more about leap day. I'm sure they have. Are you guys talking about leap day in first grade? Um, We will be, yes. Okay, we, okay. Next week. All right, can you get the frog out? <laughs> That's right. Maybe, all right, that sounds good. <laughs> Little tadpoles, frogs. I love it. Okay. This week we're talking about restrooms, everybody. Uh oh. Tell me. Tell you? Yeah. Well, sometimes we get kind of loud in the bathroom, and sometimes we need reminders when we're in there that we shouldn't be shouting and screaming or doing other things like that in the bathroom because it's disruptive to the people around those bathrooms there, the other classes. Absolutely. If, if I can think down this hallway here, well, you don't know where I'm at right now, but it bound down by Mrs. Winkleman's room yeah. and Mrs. King's room. When you guys are loud in those bathrooms, it disturbs their classroom for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She talks about the noise level I will walk through, and sometimes I still see, even though we have this huge, mungus garbage can, I still see some paper towels on the floor. I and do there's, too. there's really no excuse for that. So make sure, pick up after yourselves. And you know Absolutely. what? If you do see a paper towel on the floor that maybe somebody did miss, they could do what? They could take another paper towel, a clean one, and bend down and pick up the dirty paper towel and then throw both of them in the trash. Yeah, I like how you say use another paper towel. And when you get back to class, either uh, maybe use hand sanitizer yeah, or wash your hands again. So, yep. very good. Awesome. All right, we got, uh, I'm going to be around this week, aren't I? You are. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fairchild's going to come around and do another read aloud this week. We are going to be listening to We Don't Eat Our Classmates. Wow, that sounds kind of scary. Don't. Don't now, know. now, here's the thing about that book. Um, apparently, uh, Mrs. Ackley already read this to kindergarten first. Oh, okay. Uh, at right. one of the library visits. And I asked her, do you think I should read it again? She goes, oh, they loved it. So um, we're going to learn about why we shouldn't eat our classmates. Yeah. So don't I, ever I don't know. Do that. That's yeah. some, I don't know. Sh shouldn't we? I don't know. I, 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 I might have eaten a classmate one day when I was your age, but just kidding, everybody. Yeah, we have snacks, so we shouldn't have to worry about that's that. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That'll get us by. That'll get us by. Hey, tomorrow night uh, is our actual district kindergarten registration parents. So again, if you know of any families that have kindergarten age kids, tomorrow night from 3.30 to 5.30, we are registering all kindergarten, uh, incoming kindergarten students. We look forward to that. It's crazy that, mm. that it's already that time of year. It is crazy. Next year's I coming love soon. it. I love yep. it. Can't wait. We have a great kindergarten class this year. Absolutely. It's going to be hard to match them. You'll have this. I will. You I can get to have, have them next year. All you year, kindergartners, so. she may be one of your teachers. Looking so. forward to it. Right. See you guys next year. Yeah. All right, uh, the second and third grade music program will be coming up this week too on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And all of us get to watch it during the day in the gym uh, around 1.15, so. Mrs. Fredrickson has a special surprise for me to be involved oh, in it. Oh, wow. Um, I'm still debating how I'm gonna do this, so. <laughs> well, um, you've seen me in action before. I have, and it's, you're it's, very it's, good. It's not, no, you're it's not natural. real pretty. It's not pretty, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> This week, Tuesday or and Wednesday, uh, we are doing vision and hearing screenings. And here's who gets uh, screened. First of all, kindergarten gr students, second grade, and all students that are new to Dunlap will get a vision and hearing screening. All students in first grade and third grade will just get their hearing tested. I don't know why we don't test their eyes in third I don't grade. Know. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's the way it is. So that's going to be this coming Tuesday and Wednesday. 
Oh, diaper drive. Okay, this is not happening yet, but I'm so excited. Uh, in a few weeks, I'm gonna talk about a diaper drive. You know how we made a macaroni mountain? We're gonna do something with a diaper, but we need to figure out a, 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 an alliteration for that. I don't know what oh, it's we, gonna be. Um, we could really probably big, build something pretty yeah, big with yeah. a, boxes of diapers. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. So, so more information to come. Uh, we got PTO Bingo Night coming up mm. Friday, March 13th. So that should be a lot of fun. Sounds good. Who doesn't love bingo? Bingo's fun. And you know what it costs to, to go to bingo? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's awesome. <laughs> so um, we look forward to having a great bingo night. It's Friday, thir Friday March 13th. That's oh, Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> and um, another thing is coming up as far as PTO is related. On April 4th, it is a grown-up only a trivia night, and it's going to be at the Legion Hall. And uh, looking forward to that. But it's going to be in the village um, at that time. And it is a uh, uh, the, the funds, the money raised from that. There's going to be a silent auction as well. And the money raised for that will go towards our playground that still needs some funding for the installation and the rubber surface surfacing. So we still have a ways to go with with, with, with that. Um, I don't know if you noticed. Well, I, actually, I came to you, didn't I? You I, did. I, yep. I asked. I asked a bunch of kids. I started. Uh, I asked a question, I said, if you had any superpower, what would it be? And let's just cut in and, and hear what all of these superpowers that these kids have. Ready? To be able to fly anywhere as fast as I could. I don't know. Flying. Oh, the superpower to go back in time and have fun with people that I love and care about. Flying. What would it be? It would be Flash. Flying through the air. Invisibility. To summon lightning. Flying. What would you have? Batman. Probably to get away any sickness that was ever possible in the world. What would it be? Mrs. Fairchild. I could fly. Would it be? Uh, to fly. Mm, strength. Um, stop time. The power would be to talk to animals. For power, what would it be? I would pick that everybody did their work every day. What would it be? Ooh, I'd be invisible. Power is to never have cavities, so I can eat as much candy as I want. My superpower is to do my work as fast but neatly as I can. World, what would it be? Oh. Um. Probably the ability to fly so I could go to the mountains and enjoy the nice scenery. <laughs> the ability to know what people are thinking. What would it be? I want to fly. That would be the best superpower of all. Visibility. What would it be? Being invisible. So what would they be? <laughs> Invisibility. <laughs> um, time travel. Hey. You have to give me a second. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Are you coming? Maybe. No! What are people saying? If you, what, is, what superpower would you, would you want to To fly. Have? Any superpower. I would have to say to fly. I would be able to clone myself so that I could be in multiple places at one time. Shirley, what would your superpower be? It would be flying. Be. Ah, to play uh, every instrument there is. My superpower would be flying. That would be so fun to fly high in the sky. What would it be? Oh my goodness. I think that I would want to have like multiple versions of myself so I can get everything done. Is that a superpower? It would be making cute things to take over this cute world. Which was your favorite, Mrs. Haley? Oh my goodness, I really liked the invisible kid. You know, quite a few of them said invisible yeah. kid. Boy, that was good. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one too. I, th there, there were so many great ones. So many great ones. I loved it. So, hey, we are coming to that next section of Would You Rather. So, all right. 
What you got here? Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so I actually I have two. Oh, two would you rather? Okay. Okay. Would you rather have to wear jeans every day for the rest of your life, <laughs> or wear a tuxedo every oh, day oh, for the rest of your oh. life, no matter where you're going? Oh my gosh! Oh, you got you guys. <laughs> you, the teachers here know. Yeah. Um. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I think I would rather wear jeans ah! if I had if I had to do that for the rest of my life. All I wouldn't right. want to wear a tuxedo. So. I think we have our next goal for our fundraisers. Oh. Maybe maybe we could have Mr. Fairchild either have to wear jeans or a tuxedo. <laughs> I think that would be Students, fun. you've never seen me wear jeans at school before, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. Okay, and the other one. All right. This one came from a student. Okay. Would you rather be really really hot all the time? Okay. Or really really cold all the time? You know, I think when you're really cold, you can like layer up and, and get warm. Mm -hmm. Would that happen? Would I be able to layer up to get warm? I, I guess, but I don't know how warm you'd get because you're still really, I'm really still cold. cold. Yeah. I hate being cold. I really hate being cold. But but I know I could I could wrap up. So I guess I'm gonna go with the hot. But okay. but I don't like being hot. Really hot too. But but I do that over the <laughs> cold. A tough question. The older I get, the I just don't like the cold. I agree. I don't like the cold I agree. At all. All right. Are you ready for a would you rather? I am. Yeah. When you sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Would you rather sleep upside down like a bat, okay. or would you rather sleep like a cow that sleeps standing up? Ooh. Did you know cows sleep I didn't standing know up? That, yes. Which would you yeah. rather? Mm, I think I'd rather sleep upside down. Really? Yeah. Can you explain that? Well, I feel like you'd at least get to rest. I mean, if I have a bat, like. Do I have bat like feet that I, I can know. just kind of wrap I, around? I, I just and... see the blood rushing to your head. <laughs> That's true. And then you pass out. And I, then I, I, I don't know. I guess I'd be asleep, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. All right, we'll give you that. When you're okay. upside down, you feel like you can get a little more rest, probably a little more peaceful than standing up. Okay, yeah. I got yeah. you. I yeah. got you. All right, guys, it is that time for the joke, joke of, of the, the week. week. All right, this one came from one of my students as well. Uh oh. All right. Why shouldn't you give Elsa? from Frozen, a balloon. I think I might know the answer to this one. Oh no. Um, because she'll freeze it. Oh, that's a really good it. guess. But or it has no. something to do with a song. It really has more to do with a song. I think I know what it is. Go ahead and share it just so I'm, it is about letting it. <laughs> Cause she'll let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. You, and again, you don't want me singing either. Because yeah, me neither. We talked neither. about that last yes. week. Yes, yeah. we'll no, leave that no, to Mrs. No Frederson. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. Thank you for the jokes and great. Uh, thank you for the yeah, would you rather. Yeah, thanks for having me. And students, we're going to have an awesome week. It's a five-day week and the weather's looking a lot better this week. We might have a little bit of rain possibly in the forecast, but who knows? It always changes, doesn't it? It does. It you always never know. changes. Yep. Yep. Both you guys, we have sunshine here at Banner. And as you guys always know, you belong here.